Hello everybody and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today I wanted to play around with kind of a water sky scene in the Chinese brush painting and applying it to Western watercolors. Um, I've been kind of on that kick of getting the expressive stroke. So what I'm going to try to do is do a, like a betta fish, a butterfly, and um, kind of like some foliage coming out of the water. And we'll see what happens. So I have my mixed haired Chinese brush here. So this is a combination brush. I'm going to grab some alizarin. I'm going to grab some ultramarine on the end. So I want to kind of get a gradation on this. And I figure my water line will be about here. I want the betta fish to come up. So I'm going to do the body first. There we go. Let's get um, more alizarin. Ultramarine. These are for the kind of the fins. Go more ultramarine for the head. That we have all those fins that come out. I'll grab a darker ultramarine for the underbelly. Okay. I just want to see if I can get some a little bit of cerulean in there, a little bit of texture. Let's take that cerulean. Just come out with it. I'll come back in and I'll put the eyes in whenever it's dry. Okay, so that's my beta fish so far. I could probably feed other colors in and play around with the ends, but um, just kind of being a little bit more timid at the moment. Um, this page is about eight by 10, a little bit larger than that. I should have probably went with a larger size, but I kind of just really want to just do it and paint and see what happens. Let's grab ultramarine and some light red oxide. That's what I'll use for my uh, butterfly. I do not have enough like just water on this. I have to redo that. Okay, so that's the wings. I grab the number one rigger. I feel like I didn't get the right size that I really wanted with that. This is um, the Chinese ink. The head, body, body. Let me feed it. A little spindly. Then the antenna. Let's see. Let's, uh, while it's wet and wet, kind of just do expressive outlines. 
I think that gives that butterfly more life and more shape. Um, I don't know if it's kind of a, I don't know if the correct word would be a dichotomy, having these marks here versus the betta fish here. Um, I could do that kind of gill mark and see how that works to kind of bring that idea down into these guys as well. This guy and put his eye right here. I may come on top of that with kind of a different color just to pop it out. A beta fish came out pretty cool. Then I'm going to use I'll just use the um, orchid brush and I'm getting a little cramped for space on this um, painting but let's grab some um, just let me feed some of the color in here some of that ultramarine okay so I want to come out water and change it. And what I was thinking was maybe kind of wet the path a little bit that the foliage is going to come out of. So it gets blurry there and then have a crisper line when it comes out. I have a little bit of that ultramarine mix on here and we can do that that water level. Okay, I'm gonna grab some lemon yellow, ultramarine, getting a green for my water foliage. Try to get a little bit of a mix of colors on there. So we're gonna come up So it spreads out down there and then it comes out of the water. Let's try to pay attention to the path we're going to take. I'll grab a little bit of um, ultramarine, feed it in a little bit. Down in here we can do the kind of same watering of that area. Just do a kind of a brief illusion of the underwater plants. Okay, so there we go, a beta fish and a butterfly meeting up and hanging out. I'm gonna pause just so I can do a dry off and then I'll put a mat over. And there we go, dried and signed and under a mat. I hope you enjoyed, uh, please like, subscribe, follow. And I have a Patreon account linked down below if you wanna support the channel. Y'all have a great day, talk to y'all soon, bye.